here we are <laughs> one freaking year after we started hey guys it's brandon i figured i'd give you a real quick update a cherry tree fell on my house it was about 60 feet and it destroyed uh, part of my house and all these crazy things have been going on in my life we also had somebody plant a booby trap knife at the laundromat and i've just been dealing with a lot of totally crazy things um, which has led to too few videos. I've also gone ultra viral on TikTok, so I've been posting content on there a little more frequently. Uh, but we should have a normal return to a couple videos every week here soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, now, my social appeal is great, but I'm not sure how much better things are at the laundromat. My life has been a mess, just like the laundromat. I got a call right around the time that the videos on the channel started slowing down from my wife during a very major storm. She called to say, honey, a tree has fallen on the blank. And uh, the phone cut out, so I had to run home and I found that a 60 foot cherry tree fell on my house. So my life has been, oh, I don't know if you can see, everything's jammed up in here. We'll have to fix this. My life has been very busy, so. We've been making money at the laundromat. Look at that. So that's cool. I am running again today with a GoPro. Um, lots and lots of updates. This goes in my pocket. Um, lots and lots of updates. Some good, some bad. Um, I had court the other day and the machine is out of quarters because they're jammed up. So, let's see. We'll have to get that. Mm. Holy crap. Oh, sticky nickel. You see that? Someone has a stick uh, nickel in here and it has a uh, freaking, I don't know, it's gummy something or other. Got jammed up in there and uh, broke everything. So, there you go. All you have to do is hit it. Hitting things will make it better. Oh you hear that guys all right and now it works see all we had to do is hit it so here is the order from this collection oh there's more that's come out holy crap this is the most effective coin collection that i've ever had Ridge knife time, guys. Oh, almost. Premium product placement, guys. You know when they were in an ad marketing thing, they said, you know what we should do? Jam up the Hillbilly Laundromat Man's machine and, uh, Phones. That's a joke. Please don't sue me, guys. One of these days, I'm going to have to get in there with another coat hanger and fix it. And we have a ton of coins in the toy, coin return. So my nephew has done, continued to uh, do a great job. So good job, Alan, on keeping it stocked. It is full of pop. I now pay him an extra, what, 50 a week to go through and make sure all the machines are stocked and good and everything is great there. So, I get to do the quarter collections because that's the funnest part. Will I outsource it to my nephew someday? Maybe, probably not because this is too fun. This is exactly as fun as you would think it is. All right, so. The Closet of Mystery is currently open. Um, we normally don't see back there because I keep people in there. I mean, um, normally I keep supplies in there. <coughs> so we'll go through and do a collection. We did put a separate TV up. Um, we did put a separate TV up and it shows, it shows Hillbilly Laundromat people in there because uh, we actually had a terrible situation where uh, kids came in with hammers and they beat my Lorax 4K system to death. 
That's not a fault of the Lorex, but it's a fault of um, a hammer and a kid. It took us 15 minutes to find the kid. A very different kid, mind you, but he did $800 worth of damage with some friends. Anytime somebody screws something up at the laundromat, I am posting their photos over there. Someone in the family got upset and they uh, tore the pictures down. I got a call from one of the angry guardians or parents or whatever, and they said, can you take the pictures of my sweet, those sweet, sweet kids that stole money from you? And I said, sure, once they repay me. So things have been just getting more and more insane at the laundromat. Um, I actually, I think we have a consultant coming in to help me get the laundromat on track. Um, I am currently going super viral on TikTok, which is kind of odd for me to say. Um, I never thought I would be a, a star of YouTube for owning a hillbilly laundromat, but I also, and I definitely didn't think that I would be trending on TikTok and uh, get at this point 363,000 followers on there in 30 days um they like my content i guess but then i am branding the content just a little bit differently than i do here on youtube and i try to be less 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 silly less stupid there we go oh man that's the money on to this machine, which it went down the other day. Um, I can't remember what the resolution for this machine was, but uh, something. We did repair the damage that Post Malone did to the coin pusher, which I'm happy about. He uh, stole $600 worth of coins and uh, did $400 worth of damage. Um, but once again, I have that machine over there because it's easier to repair than say one of this. This, this is very hard to repair. So we got more ones, which are going in my pocket. If you are my investor slash partner on this, I'm not robbing you. <laughs> They'll be in the uh, profit and loss report, which I do share here on YouTube pretty regularly. So that's kind of cool. If you like Excel spreadsheets. I'm getting low on laundry soap. Um, so. It's just been a wild, wild year so far for me, as it is for you guys. I'm, you know, the laundromat's been making money. It's just, we or it's at least been breaking even at this point. But the, the, the machine issues continue to cause huge problems. People are coming here, they're getting ripped off with quarters. I refund them on Cash App. But then that creates a problem. They can't uh, immediately get their refund. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't even in there right. Yet nobody had even tried to beat on it, so that's cool. So all these washers are getting taken out here soon. Those three over there, they will likely be taken to uh, the trailer park laundromat. Uh, the trailer park is finally coming along. You know, with the stay on evictions for a while, um, which in the Ohio was actually orchestrated kind of different. Um, there wasn't a official eviction stay. It's just that municipal courts were closed for um, a lot of different things. Uh, see, this is a broken washer and I would have refunded it. So we're getting rid of, we're getting rid of these stupid top loaders, which become have become unreliable as crap. And I, I believe we're going with Dexter on this, which is huge laundry company. And these, these washers are weird. This one has never broken down on me. I don't think it's the newest one. It was made in 2012. I got some 2015 and 2016s here. For wonderful human beings live vicariously through me. 
Oh, what the crap. No wonder this is broken. Oh my gosh. There are nuts and bolts. I don't even want to know what this belongs to. You know, if you can see it. Oh my gosh. I'll hide these over here. My Jeff, my maintenance guy, keeps coming in. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but unfortunately, one of the best uh, repair guys that I had died. Um, not due to coronavirus. I don't think I can say what he died from. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't anything nefarious. I just, uh, I don't know. Guess I should. Oh, free quarter. Hey, I can buy a little Debbie off myself. So these 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 dryers just are nonstop problem. It's it's essentially all due to prior vandalism issues, and it just it's a, this cascading problem. So, we're, I mean, this quarter collection's not going super great, but it's not super terrible either. Um, that one, we've set several of these. Yeah, see this one? It's free. We rigged this. It'll just run free now. So it'll start up, it'll get hot. Um, it's part of the reason that uh, we're doing things this way. So this is a free dryer. Um, and it's because of the vandalism. On this one, we've had so much vandalism. Um, people specifically putting in nickels, trying to rig it to run for a nickel. And they put it in here and they jam it. So they jam it full of nickels up here and um, it's just got to the point the me mechanism's gonna recover. Okay, so I've collected quarters from that since uh, last time. So this is a multi-week collection. You won't see it reflected on the quarters, but you're sure as heck going to see it reflected on the cash. And I'm going to take the dollar bills back to my office for safekeeping and counting because I don't feel safe here anymore. Um, I can. I'm bringing a trash bag. and 30 quarters, which is awesome. And a crap load of dimes and nickels. So, look at those bad boys. All right. All right. Here's washer dryer. 5.30 is the start.
Cool. 1,389. Okay, Google. Here. This is where we use the magic of the internet. Okay, Google. So, I know the video says that this is... I know we say that this is a collection that's uh, a month, but this is the quarters just for about a week. So in the interest of self-preservation, I brought the cash home and I counted it on my child's Paw Patrol table. We ended up with almost $2,400, uh, bringing this month to a net positive overall. Vandalism's been crazy. Our water and electric bills have stayed down. They haven't been too bad. So for our last month of operation, it hasn't been too bad. We've ended up in the black as a net positive, and I look forward to getting new equipment. Be sure you follow me on other social media and like the video. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. And here's the collection from today. This is washer and dryer money. This is not accurate, but we're counting it anyway. And here is the drink and snack money, which is awesome.